And another thing. If your precious brother Benjamin thinks he's going to live here all the time he's out of work, he's mistaken. Mummy! What? Is Uncle Ben going to get it in the neck again? Shut up! Go and get on with your homework. Alfred, put your slippers on. If you've got an idea you're going on a pub crawl tonight, you're wrong. Hello, Mabel. Hello, Alfred. Hello, Ben. Hello, kids. Guess what I've got? The sack. Yeah. Hmm. No, I've got you some sweets. Huh. How long do you think you're going to live on us this time? Our lease runs out in 1945. Oh, I shan't be here all that long. <clears throat> I'm already in the running for one or two appointments. Well, you'd better put a spurt on and try and catch up with one, or out you go. But we can't turn him out. Yes, we can. Then Freddie and me can have the bed to ourselves. Quiet, Jimmy. Read that. Oh, for me? <clears throat> Found me already? Dear sir, in reply to your application, please attend the offices of the school board, Gaston Chambers, SW6, at 5pm tomorrow, the 15th, where candidates will be interviewed for the post of headmaster of the school for backward boys. The salary is £75 per annum. In reply to your application... Well, I didn't apply for this. Some nosy Parker been interfering? I applied for it. Oh, you did? Oh. <coughs> oh, thank you very much, Mabel. But I say £75 a year. It's ridiculous. Do they know who they're writing to? They can't do, or they wouldn't have offered so much. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Well, allow me to inform you that at St Michael's I got £80 a year and they threw my laundry in. Benjamin Twist, either you apply for that job or you don't sleep here tonight. Oh. Oh, very well. In that case, I'd better be going. Uh, going? Where to? To bed. Let me go, Ben! You know, Mabel, if, if I didn't know you better, I should be inclined to... Go away. I should be inclined to form the, op the opinion that I wasn't welcome here. No, wait, wait a minute, boys. Wait, wait. It's my turn for the middle. I had the broken spring last night. Hey, hey. I'm sorry, I'm yes, sorry. Sorry you ought to be. Uh, do you happen to be an applicant for this uh, backward boy school? Listen, fella, do I look staff enough to be a schoolmaster? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Huh? I suppose you haven't run across the prisons commission, have you? No, I've been very fortunate up to now. Yes. Oh, you mean on the board? Uh, no, no, I haven't. I'll tell you what we do. You look down that side for mine, and I look down this side for yours, you see? Two eyes are better than one, aren't they? Sorry, Governor. Just a minute, just a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, will it? Well, yeah, you can't take people's property like that. Do you recognize it? Yeah, it's like mine. It is mine. I say, what are you doing with it? <laughs> he just picked your pocket. Oh, does he? No, I didn't honest, Governor. I found it. I was just taking it to the police station. Oh, well, that's different. I knew oh. he got an honest face. Yes, I've been looking at honest faces like that in Australian prisons for 17 years. Oh. 17 years? My, that was a long sentence. Oh. Sentence? I was prison governor. Oh. Watch him while I fetch a policeman. Yes. Yeah. I say, don't be long. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Good day. It's sheer waste of time seeing all these people. This man Benjamin is the one we want. But that last applicant seemed a charming man to me. We don't want charming men in charge of our prisons. We want disciplinarians. We're getting quite low on the list. I want to see this man Benjamin. He's done wonderful work in Australian prisons. Magnificent record. I say, this is rather embarrassing, you know. Would you mind uh, pretending we know each other? My name's Twist. Twister? Eh? Twister, I didn't know you were that, you mortarboard. Don't you remember me? I'm Bates. Bates Minor, of St. Michael's. Yeah. Bates? Yes. Of course it is. Well, how well, are you, I am glad to see you. I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, how are you? Very well, thanks. Oh, how's your father? Eight o'clock last Tuesday morning. Tuesday? Mm. Oh. oh, well, he had a nice day for it. Mr. Benjamin? Mr. Benjamin? Mr. Benjamin? Did you say Benjamin? Is your name Benjamin? Yes, Dr. Benjamin. Well, would you mind stepping along this way? The board are waiting for you. Uh, well, Twister, I, I won't keep you now. I've got to be going, too. Oh, uh -huh. So long. Here. I say, Bates! Uh, please, Mr. Benjamin, you're late already. Yes, but he's got my... Uh, Mr. Bates, Benjamin, they're waiting for you. Yes, but I'm told he's rather harsh. That's the sort of man we want. Mr. Benjamin, sir. Ah, glad they found you. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, miss? Uh, I'm Sir Cyril Blakeney-Burke. How do you do, Benjamin? Hey. Oh, uh, very well indeed, thank you, uh, Cyril. 
Uh, this uh, is Miss Humphreys, Mr. Salter, Mr. Jones. Ah, pleased to meet you. Won't you sit down? Yes, thank you. So, you're from Down Under? Uh, yes, yes, I came up in the lift. Oh, <laughs> very good. I've just been examining your records, Benjamin. Oh, uh, oh well, you must uh, make allowances for a certain amount of prejudice, you know. You qualified in a pretty tough school. Oh, I wouldn't call them tough. A little playful, perhaps. Well, Black Down's no kindergarten. It's a long-term establishment. Oh, I don't care how long the terms are. As long as I get my Christmas holidays. Oh, holidays won't be your worry. These fellows are a difficult bunch to handle. Some of them have been there 20 years. 20 years? Well, they must be backward. I'm sure you can knock some sense into them. Um, uh, do you believe in corporal punishment, Mr. Benjamin? What, thrashings? No, no. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes. Uh, did you have much of it at your last place? Well, on the average, about five a day. Well, I take it you all think as I do about Benjamin. I'm afraid we're unanimous. Oh, well, can't be helped. <coughs> Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, miss? One moment. We want your signature. Signature? Agreeing to our terms. What do you mean I've got the job? Of course. Smith. Yes, sir. Get the agreement. Yes, sir. Hey, you. I've been delayed downstairs. Here's my card. Tell him I'm here. I'm sorry, but the vacancy has been filled. Hell? Yes, sir. I come all the way from Australia for this. I'm sorry. Sorry be hanged. What about that case? Get out of the way. I demand to see the board at once. Did I tell you it's no good? The vacancy has been filled. Who oh, has it? Well, I want to see them. The constable. Hey, 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 what's all this? You mind your own business. Now then, we don't want no disturbance here. Come on, outside. Well, if that's the way they treat people in this country, it's me for Australia by the first boat. Sign here, Benjamin. Uh, oh, <clears throat> uh, I always do it like that. You see, it makes it hard for anybody to forge it. Then did. Hey, wait a minute, I haven't put the twist on. What twist? The twist on the end. You always put the twist on the end. Oh, invariably, yes. Benjamin twist, is it? Scarcely necessary, is it? Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I never signed the Benjamin without the twist. How very amusing. In future, Mr. Benjamin, I shall always think of you as Mr. Benjamin Twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it funny about that? <laughs> <laughs> heavens, it's in Devon. Why, it's 200 miles away. Oh, we'll have to stop and fill up. Now, well, I know the very place, just down the road here. It's in Devon. From? Next boy. Now, this is the place where you get out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is this a school? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well built place, isn't it? Yeah. I must get this bell attended to. Well, good night, old boy. Good night. Hey, hey, you can't undress here. I'm the headmaster. I can do as I like. Oh, well, good night. Oh,
Hurry up there. Hurry up. That way. Oh, pardon me. Could you direct me to where... Come on, follow me. Oh, thank you very much. Good evening. Sit down. Thank you. Sorry for this. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many are there? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, ten. That's a lot. That lets me out. Thanks for the party. You're welcome. Good night. Come on, you. Jim Collis. Five years. Robbery with violence. I tell you, it's a case of mistaken identity. Yeah, we've got 200 cases of mistaken identity in here. Come on. Bugs Dempsey. Come over drowsy. Oh, no wonder. Well, good night. Good night. Ah, Smith. Back again, eh? Take him away. And the last? Maximilian Slesser. Seven years forgery. Slesser. Slesser. Hey, Jimmy. Keep your feet out of my back. You let me out of bed. Slesser. Oh, oh, hello, Porter. Do I get out of here? Yes, but not for another seven years. Seven years? This train is late, isn't it? If I didn't know it was impossible, you know, I, I'd swear he'd been drinking. There's a medical note on his record. Oh, yes. Suspected of being mentally unbalanced. Keep under observation. Oh, I see. All right, take him away. Come on, Slesser. Wake up. Time for bed. Huh? Oh, bed? Oh, bed. Oh. Here. Is my bedroom near my study? Your bedroom's in your study. Oh, good. Combined room, eh?
Hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Uh, what's the matter with you? Well, I don't want any impertinence. I know the law. I've been in better police stations than this. Who's responsible for me being in here? You are. Me? Yes, you've been a very naughty boy. Oh, dear. Oh, have I? Oh. I say, who's on the bench this morning? Ah, oh, shut up. Hey, yeah, yeah, come here, come here. Here. Was that very really bad? Bad? It took five of us to bath you. You bath me? I haven't been bathed since I was a kid. No, that's what we thought. Eh, uh, I don't want any evidence. You get in touch with my brother-in-law, Alfred Biggs. He's in the phone book. He'll bail me out. Oh, shut up, or I'll go and get the head screw in here. Bow you out. Hey, 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 come here, come here. Me say you won't do it. You can't keep me in here. I demand a proper drunkenness test. I'll show you I'm sober. Oh, and you get the doctor immediately. Go on, go on, get him. Go on, go on, get him. Go on. And send over the rope for some eggs and bacon. Hey. Anything wrong? 99's acting queer. Says he wants a doctor. 99? Oh, that's Max Lesser. That's the fellow who made all the trouble at Parkhurst. Go on. Yes, crazy as a coot. I'll send the doctor along. Good morning, Doctor. Constitutional. <coughs> around the rocky bricks, the rigged, uh, uh, around the rigged racks, uh, around the uh, racks, around the, around the rock, rocky rock. Uh, I've got a uh, tip my tongue too. Around the rigged rocks, the ragged rascals. Anyway, I'm a sober judge. Of course you are. Now just sit down and take things quietly. Say this after me. I serenely submit to the seven year servitude that I stand sentenced to by the state. That makes it a bit essy, isn't it? <coughs> Never mind, I'll have a shot at it. Wish I got my other teeth. I serenely submit to the seven years' servitude. I stand... Here, yeah, I can't say that. People think I'm doing seven years. Oh, that's quite right. Keep that thought in the back of your mind. Hey, 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 you can't, you can't leave me here like this. No, no, I know a fellow that knows a member of the parliament. I'll, I'll, I'll have a question asked in the house. Yes. Hey, what am I going to do? Yeah, you finish barking out the court. And I'll come back and have a nice game of hopscotch with you. Hey, 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 come here, come here. Hey, hey, you can't treat me like this. I'll write to the Home Secretary. You bring me a stamp. You... Oh, right, I'll take the law in my own hands, then. I'm going to stay here another minute. What is? Call the gentleman a taxi. Oh, no, yes, you go. Oh, no, no, no. You know, I shouldn't be here at all. The last time I got drunk, they only find me ten bob and cost. Let me here, they make me break stone. Shut up and get on with your work. Good heavens, it's worse than the draper's case. I'm a Briton, you know. Red, white and blue still mean something to me, I hope. Deputy Governor's coming, sir. Right, get the men working full speed. And if you're not looking for trouble, get on with your work. Oh, 
Gut her. So it's mutiny, eh? This means solitary confinement for you. Take him away. Come on. Get your... There's a church. There's a steeple. Open the doors and there's the people. Hello. Oh, hello. Well, good gracious, who are you? I'm Jerry the Mole, your next door neighbour. I've just buried him to see you. Oh, well, he could just burrow off again. Why? Don't you want me then? Well, it's not a question of what I want. This is a solitary confinement cell. It's private. All right, Sniffy. I ain't staying where I ain't welcome. Hey, hey, hey. You can't go off and leave a hole like that. They'll blame it onto me. No, they won't. They don't know it's me. I've got tunnels everywhere. Perfect best I am. <laughs> I've undermined the old foundations. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do they know about these tunnels? Some they do. Some they don't. Well, well they'll know about this one, won't they? That? Don't count, it's only an afternoon's work. <laughs> yeah, I've got a big tunnel, runs under the kitchen, round the sewer, through the cesspool, up the drain pipe. Well, that sounds healthy. And out past the main gate. All I've got to do now is to butter steak up, and I shall come out in the middle of the main road. Well, that's silly. If you do that, you're liable to get run over. Oh, dear, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Of hmm. course, you could come out on a pedestrian crossing. That, that, that's right. I've been working on that tunnel for 40 years. 40 years? Blimey, how long are you in for? Another couple of weeks. Well, you better hurry up or you'll be released before you can escape. Yeah, that's right. I, I mustn't waste any time, must I? No. Here, Sniffy, how would you like to escape with me? No, not me. Why not? Well, I haven't got 40 years to spare, I hope. If you use my tunnel, you'll be out in a couple of days. Come in. Where to? The bathroom. That's where the tunnel starts. Well, how do we get to the bathroom? Here, you call a warder and I'll tell you what to say. Warder! Uh, I want to go to the bathroom. What? Uh, uh, no, I mean, I don't want to go to the bathroom. Are you trying to be funny? Oh, no. Well, what are you talking about? Well, you see, uh, I thought I did, but I don't. Uh, well, sorry you've been troubled. You nearly spoiled everything. But I did what you told me to do. Well, you didn't wait till I'd finished. Call the warder, tell him you heard me escaping from next door, see? Oh. Now what is it? Oh, he's escaping from next door. Who's escaping? Uh, Jerry the, the, Jerry the Rabbit. The who? No. Uh, Mole. What? Here, stand up here. Yes. Take this here. Stand up. Turn around. Shut your eyes. When I say go, you drop it. Yeah, what do you want me to shut my eyes for? So you don't see how I do it. Oh. Got him shut? Yes. Tight? Yes. Ready? Yes. Go. Can I open my eyes now? Yes, you can open them now. Right. Hey, hey. Hey, who, who did that? You did. I did? Yeah. yeah wait, wait a minute. Wait. Uh, if there's any trouble about that, I'm going to stab in it with my eyes shut. Yeah, well, I go on. Where are you going? The bathroom. Not that way. Stick to me. Do you want the cat? Cat? What do you want to bother about cats for a time like this? Oh, come on. Here it is. Nobody's touched it. Proper cunning, isn't it? Well, what is it? It's for our disguise. Oh, what? Our disguise. We get in there. Well, what do you want me to do? Make a noise like a cup of saucer? Come on, hurry up. Here's Adam. Here you are. Here you go. Ready? Pull.
say you've made a very good job of it. Thank you, sir. Very good. to your repeated inquiries, I can only say that the new governor has not yet arrived. Uh, um, in the meantime, you can assure Sir Cyril that the prison is running smoothly under the direction of your obedient servant. That's all. Hello? Hello? Yes? Colonel Yard on the phone, sir. Hello? Deputy Governor speaking. Why didn't you notify us that one of your prisoners had escaped? Escaped? We've had no one escape. What prisoner? Max Lesser. We picked him up on the boat train this morning. <laughs> it's Lesser's here. You, you've got the wrong man. <laughs> we don't make mistakes about old customers like Slesser. <laughs> I can actually see Slesser from where I am now. One of us is seeing double. We're sending him back anyway. Well, it's no use returning him when we've already got him. <laughs> huh? Is that so? You can do the same with Scotland Yard. <laughs> Darn cheap. Making mistakes and blaming us. When did Slesser arrive? Three days ago, sir. He's one of those ten that came on Tuesday. The day the new governor should have taken over. But if they've caught Slesser, the tenth convict might be... Come on. Nine, nine, just a minute. No way. Don't talk to me. You're getting me into trouble. I want a word with you. Oh. What have I done now? Does the name Sir Cyril Blakeney Burke mean anything to you? Well, I'll show them. I should say, Dutch. So you do know Sir Cyril? Well, of course I do. Well, he's responsible for me being here, in a way. If he hadn't given me that job, I wouldn't be in this mess now. Well, it's absolutely disgraceful the way I've been treated. Just because I take something for, for, for me cold, you shut me in a prison. Even in Russia, you get a fair trial. Hop, hop, one, two. I'm afraid someone's made a dreadful bloomer. Bloomer? There have been bloomers all along the line. Nice thing. Innocent, late paying citizen stuck in a prison, made to crack rocks. Look at my blisters. How am I going to get rid of those? If they'd been two blinds, I could have told you. How? Oh. Silence! Going? Take this man back to his cell. Yes, sir. My dear Benjamin. Uh, oh, Benjamin, is it now? Yes, well, I only allow my friends to call me Benjamin. 99 to you. Sir Cyril Blakeney Burke on the phone, sir. Oh, oh. All right. Yes, I can quite understand how you feel. If you'd be good enough to come to meet the office, I'll endeavor to rectify this ghastly blunder. Hey. About time, too. Oh. Uh, hello, is that you, Sir? Yes, Mr. Pendleton's just arrived. Uh, just arrived? Let me, I like that. Go on, you tell him what's happened to me. Yes, yes, everything is quite all right. Uh, oh, no, it's not all right. Here, let me talk to him. I've uh, been, uh, I've been locked up. I don't I've been locked up. Any... What's going on at that end? Sounds like a dogfight. Let me speak to Benjamin. And don't argue with me. Very good, sir. He wants to speak to you. Oh, I should think so, too. Hello, uh, Cyril. This is Ben. Where on earth have you been since Tuesday? Why didn't you take over when you arrived? Take over? I mean, I didn't get a chance. They shut me in a clink. Yeah, solitary confinement. You mean you've been locked up in a cell? Incredible. Why did you stand for it? Oh, I couldn't help myself. There were hundreds of them. What have you done about it? Well, I'm out, aren't I? Fire that fool Robinson immediately. Are you that fool Robinson? <clears throat> well, I can't do that. I mean, I, I don't know him well enough. Eh? Oh, all right. It's your turn. Yes, sir. Yes, this is Robinson speaking. Yes, sir. I can't believe it. After 30 years, solid service. I'm fired. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. Mr. Benjamin, hmm? I appeal to you to do the right thing in the right quarter. 
In the right quarter. I'd be delighted to. Turn around, will you? Oh! You're closer. I brought them myself, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I say, that's a nasty lump on your head. Yes, sir. Oh, it's nothing. A mere bag of tell. Ah, looks more like a billiard ball to me. This came for you, sir, a couple of days ago. Oh, I say, withholding my correspondence, eh? Another indignity. Are you taking over immediately, sir? Yes, right away. Whereabouts is the school? School, sir? Oh, you mean the instructional class? No, no, I mean the school for backward... Good gracious. John D. Benjamin. Benjamin. How very amusing. In future, Mr. Benjamin, I shall always think of you as Mr. Benjamin Twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is so funny about that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's nothing funny about that. Now, let me see. Now, uh, 52s into 2,000 won't go. 4, 5 to 29. Throw away the two nothings. Come back, Peter. Carry one. Th Lummy, that's over 30 pounds a week. Are you feeling all right, sir? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Let me see. Uh, where was I? Well, you were asking me about a school, sir. A school? Yes, that's right. Yes. Tell me, just as a matter of interest, is there a school for backward boys around here? Well, this is the only place for backward boys around here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I say, tell me, do, uh, do Sir Cyril and the others come down here very often? Oh, very seldom. They were here in the spring. In the spring? Yes. Oh, well, they should be about due again, shouldn't Oh, they? very unlikely, sir. They won't be here for another three years. Three years? Oh, really? Yeah. Three to six, uh, that makes six thousand. Yes. That's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Can you come down to the dining hall, sir? What for? The men are calling for the new governor. Calling for me, eh? Oh, that's very touching. Well, I'll just get changed first. Tell them I won't keep them waiting. It's very nice of them to prepare a welcome for me. You've got a new governor now. Well, bring him in. Yeah, I will. What do you mean? I'm a new governor. <laughs> Here, lad. This is a new governor. <laughs> Good old Snippy. He ain't half the sword. Hey, shut up, you. <laughs> but I am a new governor. <laughs> that Snippy. Listen, never you mind about that. They've appointed me the new governor. What for? Two thousand a year. Uh, uh, I mean, because they. Uh, I don't want any argument from you. And you, get off that table. If it's your idea of a welcome, I don't like it. Well, see how you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Who do that? <laughs> come on, come on, own up, own up. Who threw it? I did. What do you want to do that for? I thought you'd like to taste it. <laughs> oh, I see. You, you were throwing it to me. Oh, yeah, you know, for a minute, I, I thought you were throwing it at me. <laughs> well, come on, boys, come on. What did you want to see me about? We want better grub and better conditions. And better treatment. Yes, and see that we get it. Quiet, quiet, boys, quiet, quiet. Well, there's nothing you can tell me about this person. I've had an opportunity of studying it from the, uh, from the inside. <laughs> and as your new governor, I'm going to see the things that change. I'm going to make this a person fit for Englishmen to live in. Yeah! And you boys are going to share the responsibility with me. You're going to help me to run this person. And my first act is going to be the former management committee. Yeah! And in future, I'm going to allow you all to follow your own occupation. Yeah! And I want you to look upon these walls, not as a device to keep you in, but as a barrier to keep the riffraff out. Well, gentlemen, I have very much pleasure in declaring this committee meeting open. And I feel highly honoured that you should invite me to take, um, to take the chair. 
Yeah, yeah. Right. <clears throat> well, I'm very grateful for your support because, as you all know, I'm breaking new ground. Breaking new ground? Where? Yeah. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? Committee secretary. Well, you shut up and put down the minutes. Now, I've got here a list of reforms which I would like to propose. Hey, hey, you're out of order. Eh? You're out of order. Chairman can't propose. Why not? Because it's out of order. Oh. Oh, well, all right. Then I've got a list of reforms which I'd like to second. You're still out of order. You, you, you better get yourself seen to. Uh, listen, I don't want any evidence from you. You put down the minutes. Done it. Where? Yeah. Two and a half minutes. You, uh, you don't put down the time. You put down what we say. It's this old fool that's out of order. Now it's you that's out of order. The chairman can't second anything. Well, I might as well not be here at all, then. I mean, I can't propose anything. I can't second anything. What can I do? Nothing. It's all been done. Oh, well, am I allowed to know what's been done? All you've got to do is put it to the vote. Oh. Oh, well, all right, then. Come on. All those in favour. In favour of what? In favour of a proposition. We haven't had one. You oh. How can you vote, then? You can't vote on nothing. Anybody got a proposition? I have. I propose that the reforms mentioned on this list be carried in toto. On block. I'll second that. All in favour? Carried. Put that down, Jerry. Hey, wait a minute. I can't have this. I don't even know what's on that list. You don't have to. You're under the chairman. Listen, I demand that that list be read out in toto on block and no missing anything out. All right, then. First item, beds. I propose that we have softer mattresses. Yeah, that's, that's, good good idea. Idea. Yes, yes, that's a good idea. I like that. Go on, put it down. Wait a minute, Jerry. It hasn't been seconded. Do I have to put down the seconds as well as the minutes? How do I know? I'm only the chairman. I'll second that. Oh, you seconded the last one. I second everything. Oh, I right, right. And I propose a vote of thanks to the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. oh, do you. Yes, well, I've got an amendment. You can keep that blasted chair. It's over to me. I'm not allowed to do anything. Oh, yes, you are. You've got the casting vote. Got the what? The casting vote. Well, what's that? Well, if we all agree to something, then you vote for it. Yeah. Oh, do I? Oh, well, that's all right, then. Well, that's fine. I thought you were leaving man of everything. Well, put that down. Now, go on. What's next? Hey, dirty gentlemen. Time to get up. Tea, coffee, cocoa. Tea, coffee, cocoa. Tea, coffee, cocoa. Tea, coffee, cocoa. What can I do with a pint? Oh, you may have that with your supper. I'll report this to the committee. Tea, coffee, cocoa. Tea, coffee, cocoa. Tea, coffee, cocoa. Albert! Tea, four lunch. Good. My bath ready. Want to get it? What's the idea of all these bars? I want to get that schoolgirl complexion all over, see? Hey, come on, open the door. Governor's orders. Morning. Morning, Governor. 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 Is it cold better? Yes, thanks. Oh, that's good. Hello, Governor. Good morning. Good morning, Governor. Good morning. Yeah, say, what's all this? This? Committee's orders. Oh, good. Fine. Huh? Uh, say, did you say you could have a bar? Why, certainly. Cleanliness is next to godliness, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean, him? Mm. Certainly not. Oh, go on, Sniffy. Listen, don't keep calling me Sniffy. You can't take liberties just because you happen to know me before I uh, got on. Well, what harm's a little bath going to do you? Well, it wouldn't do me any harm, but I think the shock would about kill you. And I know where you want to go to that bathroom. You want to escape down that plug hole. It ain't a plug hole. It's a tunnel. Well, I don't care what it is. You're not going there. Not having any of that Monte Cristo business here. Go on, bring it into my office. We'll have a nice, quiet cup of cocoa. Find the paintwork. Now, go on, push. To me. Come on. Don't jerk it. You're spilling the milk. Well, now what you've done. You've, you've got it stuck. Hey, you've got customers. Well, customers are no customers. We can't leave it here, can we? Oh. Report into a new arrival, sir. Uh, Bates. Twister. Well, what are you doing here? Eighteen months. What did they give you? Silence. Speak when you're spoken to. And say sorry to the governor. Governor? Have you given up the old school? Uh, you heard what he said. Speak when you're spoken to. He's talking about the school I had uh, before I left Australia. Australia? But you've never... Now, listen, Bates, I don't want any alibis. You've been sent here by a very good judge. <clears throat> uh, take Mr. Bates away and make him comfortable. Give him a room on the east wing overlooking the moors. <clears throat> on the ground floor. How do we get out? Same way as I got in. Here, mind the cups. Next, please. 
Max Lester, 99. Yeah. What do you mean, 99? Oh, I'm sorry, you mean him. Yes, sir, he broke jail four days ago. Oh, did he? Oh, you put sugar in it? He's about to got you, Jug. Yeah. Oh, so you're the scoundrel. Oh, yeah. shut up! Ah, plain hooky, eh? Well, but do you realise that by clearing off like you did, you got someone uh, someone else into very serious trouble? I'll put a sock in it! Oh, so that's your attitude, is it? Yes, well, just for that, you're going to stay in and write out a hundred times, I must not leave others holding the baby. Oh, you take me for a bloody school kid! Oh, all right, all right, now you'll do it five hundred times. God. Take him away, right. and mind the cups. God, 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 God. Well, why didn't you think of doing it that way? Ah, oh, well, now to work. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You know, I just have to talk to those cleaners. Look at these dirty thumb marks all over everything. Thumb marks? They're fingerprint charts. Yeah. Oh, is that where they are? Oh, I see. <clears throat> hey, leave the desk alone. I didn't do anything. Well, well, don't lean on it. Now, listen, I shan't tell you a second time. I say, was there anything in that cocoa? Of course not. Here, can you see what I see? Blimey! <coughs> well, it's Jerry the ferret. in the governor's office. Give it! Ah! Get in my back! Ah! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Hey! 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Out of my way! Oh, dear! 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 Damn the carpet! Yeah, but who's going to do it? Uh, according to my plan, I never ought to be any go. Carpet here too. I'll tell you what I want. I ought to be here in the middle of the main road. Oh. Uh, all right, all right. Don't get upset about it. Yeah. You've gone wrong somewhere, that's all. Mm. Now, where did you start from? In the bathroom. Yeah. I told you not to go to the bathroom. Yes, but this was in 1897. Uh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> and then you, you went along this blue line, did no, you? I went along the blue line before I reached the bathroom. But you say you started from the bathroom. Yes, but this was a bit I did before I commenced. Oh, now, that's ridiculous. I mean, if you commence before you start, where do you begin? In the bathroom. Yeah. Let's, let's start from the beginning and get it right. Now, in 1897, you had a bath. That's right. And in 1904, I reached the well. How did you know it was a well? I fell in. Oh, I see. So in 1904, you had another bath, eh? That's right. Yes. <clears throat> you know, th th this thing looks like Hampton Court maze, you know. Hey, what do you turn right here for? Where? In 1912. Oh, that's that's when I trod on my compass. Which foot did you tread on it with? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was my left foot. Oh, dear. What does it matter which foot he trod on it with? Left foot or right foot, it's all the same, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Well, I'm going to try to help. Well, hold this corner, then. You help that way. Now, let's start from the beginning and let's work back from here. Now, where's the governor's office? Well, is that it? No, no. Well, it doesn't show it. Well, it must do. Oh, no wonder. Look at that. This plan was printed in 1890. Well, what difference does that make? Well, what difference does it make? Don't you know that in 1903 the prison was rebuilt? Oh, dear, oh, dear, nobody told me. Well, how could they when you're down there burrowing among the plug holes? Ah, here's a new chart. Ah, let's have a look at that. Yes, different thing altogether. Now, where's my office? There it is. And this is where you went up... Come here, little mudlark. Yeah. Do you know where you were in 1925? No, where? Two miles outside the prison walls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this dead end there? Oh, that's where I crossed one of my own tunnels and turned back. Turned back? Yeah. Well, all you had to do was to catch the 420. That's a tunnel on the main line to London. <laughs> <laughs> you twerp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, what shall I do? <laughs> You better go back to the bathroom and start all over again. And take this junk with you and all that shit. Well, I need my tablet. What tablet? I must have struck oil. Struck oil, you ah. fool? You've left the bathroom taps on. Come get up and in, run.
Hey. Well, put Chelsea down to win. No, don't be crazy. I've never seen Chelsea win yet. You have never seen them play for seven years. Say, what's all this? Hello, Governor. Here, uh, what's your opinion of Coventry? Coventry? Yeah. Oh, not a bad town. Rather a lot of bicycles about, though. Now, we're filling up a football coupon. Football coupon? Yeah. Well, it's gambling. I can't allow that. Besides, where will you get the sixpence from for the coupon? You're going to lend us that. I am? <laughs> I'm not. Here, give me that at once. If it's all filled up, we might win a fortune. Yes, but not with my sixpence. Here, Governor. Cast your eye over them bills. Thirty pounds feather beds, fifteen pounds stock in Albert's kiosk, football boots five pounds. What's all this? You're gonna pay for it. Well, nothing to do with me. I never ordered them. The committee did, and you're the chairman, so you're responsible. <laughs> but where do you think I'm gonna get all that money from? Oh, now, Governor, if you could only lay your hands on a paltry hundred, I could treble it for you in no time. Oh, how? At my own job, operating the stock market. Look, carbonics, fifty-three and a quarter. They'll be seventy at the end of the week. Now, if you could only make it a couple of hundred. Well, I haven't got a couple of hundred. Besides, I'd be gambling. That's no better than this, uh, this football group in business. And this only costs sixpence. <clears throat> I'll figure it over. Mansfield, two. Bristol City, nil. Southport, one. Gateshead, two. We had that too! If the last one's right, I'll cut my throat! York City, nil. Hull City, one. Every blinking uh, one right! Two. Fortune down the Millwall, tank. four. Cardiff City. I will have a few words for Sniffy. What you can't think of, I'll say. Look at that. Look at that. All come off, drawers and all. We don't want a fortune. And you wouldn't put up a measly tanner. Oh, well, I've got no sympathy with you. There's going to be no gambling in this prison, and I'm determined to set an example. Go! 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 You've won! You've won! Look! Fighting for not County for the Queen Park Rangers, too. They want to shot Hey, hey, hey what's the idea of busting in here like this? You go outside, wait till I send for you. Let's go with that football coupon you sent up. You've got the old blooming lot right. Let's go on outside. Get out. Get outside. Get outside. Hey, uh, he's only kidding. So you're going to set an example, eh? You dirty double cussing. You sent up our coupon and never told us. Oh, well, I, I wanted to keep it as a surprise. You're not going to keep anything. It's our winning. And our coupon. And our brains. Yes, but my tan, huh? Oh, no, gentlemen, you don't understand. I'm not keeping this money for myself. Oh, no, no. First of all, I've got all the bills to pay for the things your committee ordered. And with a balance, well, I propose to form a, a black down trust in charge of Mr. Johnson here, who's going to invest it in uh, carbolic. Yeah. Shut up, will you? Yeah. It's our coupon. Why should we share it with the other? Yeah. 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 I think the governor's right. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's all share it. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. All those in favour. Yeah. 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 unanimously and no amendment. Got you out of that all right, didn't I, Gav? Oh, yes, thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Uh, here, just a minute. Uh, what about my cut? Your cut? Why, have you cut yourself? Come off it, you know what I mean. I want half that pool. Well, why should I give you half? To keep my mouth shut. I've an idea you wangled this job, Mr. Benjamin. Or is it Mr. Benjamin Twist? It I uh, say, Bates, you wouldn't... Uh... Wouldn't I? Well, 750 quid or else. 
Yeah, but look here, this is about so much to blackmail. It is blackmail. Yeah. Oh, how oh, is it? Yes, well, let me tell you that blackmail is a criminal offence. And if I have any more of it, I'll have you thrown out of the prison. All right, Mr. Twist, but don't blame me if you get kicked out like you did at St. Michael's. Yeah, what's all that about St. Michael's? That's my business. Might be worth your while to make it mine. Buy 200 imps, 500 emmets, 1,000 anvas gold, 500 venters, sell 1,000 livers. Get rid of deferred 98s and buy 500 incorporated nitrates. Now, hold on, hold on. Make it 1,000. Cartwright, sell carbolics, but nothing under 77. Yes. Oh, what do you want? Oh, I thought you sent for me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want you to attend to some transfers. What do you mean? Lick them and stick them on something? No, no. These. Oh, I see. Oh, you want me to sign my name? No, no I've done that. Just check them. Check them. Mm. 5,000 bushels of wheat. Well, they're harvesting already. Oh, you don't understand. It's not real wheat. We buy on paper, and if it rises, we collect. Oh, splendid. Yeah, what happens if it falls? Then you pay up. What with? Well, the money's all in your account. Yes, but I haven't got enough money to pay for 5,000 buckets a week. You don't have to worry. Just do as you're told, and we'll all finish up as millionaires. Yeah, but how long will that take? Leave that to me. I know just how long I've got. Yeah, so do I. You've got ten years. Mm -hmm. it's, it's me I'm worrying about. Why do people stop eating, eating bread? Why, I'll be in one of those suits again. Yeah, well, I'll leave you to it. I've got a committee meeting. I'm late already. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Here, what about me? Hey, hey, what about me? I'm the chairman. Oh, you carry on. We shall need you. Yeah. Oh, oh, I like that. I've got something to tell you. Well, what is it? They've chucked me out of the committee. What for? Because I do good on the minutes. Yeah. Here, I've got something else to tell you. They're going to have a party. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see about that. And they're going to have some girls down here. Girls? Good. Yeah. What? Well, I don't care what you say. I think it's going too far. Well, what's wrong with having a few girls at the party? They know how to behave. They've been in prison before. You're very anxious to have them. What's the game? Oh, you're a suspicious guy. I only want to give the boys a good time. Well, supposing the governor gets a sack over it, that's killing the bird that lays the golden egg. Well, there aren't going to be any golden egg. There aren't going to be any birds either. I've given you quite enough rope as it is. Don't say you're going to hang me by it. You know, you can lead a horse to the water, but there's, uh, there's no power on earth can pull uh, the... Take your feet off my chair, will you? Now, just remember that, all of you. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. These ladies only made their offer to brighten the drab lives of our men. However... Yes, well, they can just mind their own business. There's been quite enough lightning here as it is. This is a respectable prison, and I'm not having ladies here, and I don't care who they are. Who's this one? That's the Baroness Charlotte Rousseau, the prison reformer. Ah, I shouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> Well, um, how about Friday? Hey, what's the guy? Oh, get into the sick of there. Oh, get into the sick of there. Oh, get into the sick of there. Can we have this dance, love? Hey, Charlie, I, uh, I shouldn't be too polite in that suit. It's got to go back tomorrow. Yeah. All right, Gov. Save that till you get on the floor. All right, Gov. Hello. Thanks, Bill. Okay, mate. Everything all right? No. They would not let me bring the clothes in. Oh, never mind. I'll think of something else. You know your part, don't you? Where's Percy? Where is he? Come on, Mary, this is our dance. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come. Meet the Baroness Charlotte Russo. Good evening. Oh, how do you do, Baroness? Why am I all people? Benji! Oh, what a surprise! Yeah, well, you two know each other? Why, of course you do. We met in Australia. How are you, my sweet? Well, I'm, uh, I'm very well, thank you, but um, I don't think... Really oh, you remember Australia? Yeah. Australia? Yes. Uh, oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, it's uh, a big island continent out in the, the Mediterranean somewhere. Well, I see you two want to talk over old times. Yes, oh, later. oh, yes, of course we do. We had such wonderful times. Do you remember the race course at Melbourne when Zero won the race? Do I? Well, you should do. You won a hundred pounds on it. Oh, what? Yes, and you promised to give me fifty. Oh. I promised you fifty pounds? Yes. Ah. Oh, well, if I promised, I must have given it to you. Oh, no, you naughty man, you didn't. Oh, but I remember I did. Aha, uh -huh, but I remember as clearly as if it was yesterday. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I, I remember... Oh, yes, I forgot to tell you. Yes, you remember when I went to collect the money from the bookmaker? Yes. Well, he welched us. <clears throat> yes, well, uh, excuse me, I've got to go and see about the fan dance. Did he fall for it? No, he's as big a liar as I am. Now, see here, I want his signature on a cheque, and you've got to get it. Oh, Benji! My Tarara! Hey, what? My Tarara's gone! Well, don't look at me! I ain't coming! Oh, dear. Pipe down, you old fool. Don't make a fuss over a bit of junk. It wasn't junk, it was real. Oh, I'll cop it if I don't take it home. My old man got in this mess and grab! <laughs> hey, what's all the bother? My Tarara! Somebody swiped it! Somebody what? Swiped it! Pinched it! Oh, no, no. There's nobody here would steal anything? Are you sure it hasn't slipped out uh, carry on to, uh, What was it like? <laughs> like that, only real. Why had it up here a minute ago? Oh, well, I should ask the culprit to give it back, that's oh. all. A fat lot of good that'll do. Oh, you don't know my boys. Stop, stop the music. Stop playing, stop playing. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got some very bad news for you. We have a thief in our midst. I don't want to embarrass the culprit by naming him, so I'm going to give him a chance of saving his face by using an old device which was very successful at my last school, uh, prison. Now, don't move anybody. Just stay where you are. Now, I'm going to have all the lights put out, and while the room is in darkness, I'm going to ask the thief to put the tiara back on the uh, tiara, tiara, back on, um, uh, on this. And no questions will be asked. Now, remember, gentlemen, you've got exactly five seconds to save your honor. Right, put out the lights. Now remember, five seconds. One, two. Oh, how did that? Now, boys, boys, no horseplay. I didn't put the lights out for that. Three, four, five. Oh, 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 oh. Good gracious! Oh, okay, oh, I say, what can I get? Oh. Well, I thought the train might go, but this is going a bit too far. Yeah, yeah. Now, for that, you'll all go to bed. Uh, that is, of course, except the ladies. <laughs> So as you like, just to follow that before you did what you did. Ladies, follow me. Shut up. But you're not breaking up the party. Oh, you don't understand, madam. I've got to keep a firm hand on these men to gain their respect. Well, you see, that's what I was telling you. It's the firm hand that counts. Come on, this way, ladies, and I'll get you all a drink. Oh, yeah. Hey, so what are you doing here? Why aren't you in bed with the others? I want to take a little work off your hands, Gus, so you can talk to the girls. Oh, uh, very thoughtful of you. Doctor, I want to... Oh, Benji, come with me. Oh, but I, I want to... Oh, no, me. come and sit down here with me. Uh, now I have you all to myself. Ah, uh, but I... Uh, oh, I don't want to press you, but I do so want my 50 pounds. Yeah, so do I. So when you go back to Australia, you collect for us both. Listen, you faker. Yeah. Oh. You're no more governor of this prison than I am. You're Dr. Benjamin Twist, just a broken-down old schoolmaster. Now, do I get the cheque for 50 quid or do I blow the gaff? Well, uh, I'll, I'll send it to you. You won't. I'll take it now. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> Let me see. Uh, five pounds, wasn't it? Fifty. Oh, yes. So it was. And you're giving me a covering letter to your bank manager. <laughs> Oh, am I? You are? I've got him. You see, he's less of all in bed except him. Oh, Cecil? Yes, he's staying here to help me with the drinks. You want to help with the women? Yeah. Listen, I don't want any of that from you. Go on, outside. Go on. I'll send Cecil down when I finish with him. Now, look here, me. Cecil! 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 How dare you come in here? Get out what do you mean, how dare you? Leave me alone! Your 
with this night. It's horrible. They always say the bald-headed men are the worst. <laughs> to think that we girls aren't even safe in prison. Uh, hey, wait, oh, wait, I wait, wait a minute. I you for this. No, no, no. We must keep things quiet for the Baroness's sake. Yeah, but I assure you... Oh, no, 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 First you take my Tarara. Well, I told you I'd try and get that back for you. Yes, and what about this poor girl's reputation? Well, I'll try and get that too. Oh! No beard! <laughs> <laughs> Give me that check. <laughs> We've been to a lot of trouble getting that 50 quid. Ooh, 50 quid now. But by the time I've added a couple of noughts, it'll just about clean up his account. <laughs> Five thousand pounds? It's rather a large amount, madam. The manager hasn't arrived yet. But I have a covering letter. Oh, I see. Oh, that'll be quite all right, madam. How would you like it? Uh, in small notes, please. Hey, have you been double-crossing us? Since when? Since any time. No, certainly not. Well, someone has caught right the brokers here. He says your checks are no good. Oh, it's ridiculous. Well, he's brought back three of them marked R.D. Marked R.D.? R.D. R.D.? I wonder who that could be. Robert Donut? No, it wouldn't be him. Robert Donut. It means that you haven't got any money in your account. Oh? Well, I can't think what's happened. There must be a reason. Yeah, well, you better think of a good one. Oh, I've got nothing to hide. At least, not about money, anyway. Oh, it's very careless. Are you the governor? Yes. I should like to speak to you. Alone. Oh, don't worry about Johnson. He's my financial advisor. Hmm. I'm not surprised. To get to the point, Mr. Benjamin, these checks you sent to us have been returned R.D. Yes, so Johnson's been telling me. Ah, oh, there must be some mistake. Rub it out and send them back. This is not a joking matter, sir. And unless we have an immediate settlement, we shall apply for a warrant for your arrest. My arrest? <laughs> well, the whole thing's ridiculous. Johnson, you tell him we've got plenty of money in the bank. Can't just disappear? It evidently has. You owe us 600 pounds. 600? Is that all? Oh. Uh, give me my bank manager, will you? I never heard anything like it. Kicking up a fuss about a little item like that. That's the trouble with dealing with you small firms. Oh. Hello. Oh, this is Benjamin speaking. I say, what's all this nonsense about me having uh, no money in my account? The cheque was drawn at three minutes past nine this morning for 5,000 pounds. Payable to a uh, Charlotte Russo. I say, the... That was for 50 pounds, not 5,000. Well, there's no object in my staying here any longer, Mr. Benjamin. No doubt we shall meet again at the Assizes. Oh, I don't feel well. Did you give that woman a check? You mean the Baroness? Baroness my foot. That's one of Slezer's girlfriends. What? He's at the bottom of this, and you've got to look for him. Well, what do you think I've been doing all day? Well, one of the boys will know where his hideout is. Ask them. Uh, yes, that's a good idea. That's right. And if I find him and get the money back, then I'll be clear, won't I? I don't know about that, but it'll help pay for your defence. Yes. Huh? So you see, gentlemen, we've been nursing a viper in our bosom, and we've been stunned. Bless us absconding with the entire funds of the Blackdown Trust. Oh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The dirty dog! Double-crossing swab! No rat! Here, does anyone know Slesser's hideout? Yes, I do. You'll find him at Slim Charlie's. Where's that? Creek Street Limehouse. I'll go there right away. Wait a minute, Charlie. Won't let strangers in. He's one of the biggest fences in London. One of the biggest what? One of the biggest fences. I don't care if he's got a brick wall. He's not going to keep me out. Yeah, I can dig a tunnel through a brick wall. Get out of here. No. A fence is a receiver of stolen property. You want to go there and pretend you're there on business, see, and sell him something cheap? Well, I haven't got anything to sell him. Yes, you have. Sell him this. All right. Good gracious, why... Why is that, uh, that woman's Tarara? So it is. Hey, oh, you, you can slip that to Charlie. No, I can't. It's not mine to slip. That'll be stealing. What of it? That's how she got it. Here. All they've got to do is offer him that for a tenner and he'll be your friend for life. That'll be silly. I can't do a thing like that. I can't go to a man who's a perfect stranger and offer to sell him somebody else's Tarara for ten pounds. Not likely. Why, it's worth twelve pounds ten of anybody's money. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro! 
What do you want? Oh, well, well then, uh, a penny donut, please. Oh, I'm waiting for a very old friend of mine. Oh? Yes, a man called uh, Slender Charles. You mean Slim Charlie? Yes, yes, Slim Charlie. Uh, but I always call him Slender Charles for short. Well, I'm Slim Charlie. Coming. I say, surely you're not the little Slim Charlie I used to go to school with. I never went to school. Oh, well, of course, uh, uh, that, that accounts for it. That's why I didn't recognize you. I say, how's your fencing going on? What's your game? Put them back. Do you want to get us all pinched here? Where are you from? From the Blackdown. I got out this morning. And where'd you swipe them rocks? Well, uh, I swapped, uh, swept, uh, I swept them on the way coming up. You work fast, don't you? Hey, have you never heard of Lightning Ben? I suppose you went to school with him too. No, I am Lightning Ben. Say, who do you know? Oh, well, there's Sykes and uh, Bates. I know Slesser, Max Slesser. Yes, does that make me a member? Let me look at that again. How much do you want for that? Fifteen pounds. Well, I've got to see Slesser first because half of it's his. Okay, up the stairs and in the back. Want some more coffee, Max? No, no, no time. Get your coat on. What are you doing here? Are you on your own? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I'm just passing. I thought I'd drop in and see you. What for? Well, as a matter of fact, I've come for my money. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Yes, you've got it, haven't you? Yes, thank you. Well, how about giving it me back? What? Well, uh, I, I know you gave way to temptation, but you give me the money and then come back to prison with me. We'll say no more about it. Isn't that sweet of him? Look here. You're a harmless old mug, and I wouldn't like to see anything happen to you. But if you push your nose into my business, I'll push it right back into your face. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Hey, wait. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I insist on having that money. I promised the boys. Lay off him, Charlie. Okay. <whistles> so long, Sylvie. Come on up, the boys. Hey, here. <laughs> no, you don't, Slesser. You thought you'd get away with it, eh? Well, we've come for the money. Oh, yes? Well, fine. Get it, then. Check him out, Charlie. All oh, right. Ah, oh, boys, boys! Come. Oh, that's all right. Well, see you do, and come straight back. Johnson! 
Yeah, it is, Governor. This is the lot. Uh, give it to me. I want to count it. Oh, we haven't got time for that. We've got to get this back to the bank. Well, this time of the night, the bank will be shut. Well, what if it is? We've got the talent here to open it up. Yes, without a trace. Hey, what? Bust open the bank? Well, you can't do that. Why, that's dishonest. Oh, we'll do nothing dishonest. We've got the money there, and we're merely going to put it back into the bank. Oh, you're going to put it back in the bank? Yeah. What, uh, what, won't your union object? Yes, we don't do it. You'll get pinched in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we... Do we bust a bank? Yes or no? Well, uh, under the circumstances, perhaps there wouldn't be any harm in busting it just a little. Right. Good. Now, give me the police. Here, look at me. You going crazy? I know what I'm doing. Hello. This is Slim Charlie's. Till I pull a blind down. And you too. Now get to work. What are you doing? You go keep watch. Look through the letter box. If you see anything suspicious, come and tell me. Supposing I don't see anything suspicious. Well, in that case, you... what do you mean? If you don't see anything, give it to yourself. Yes. Go on, go on. Let go. I'm the one to open it. About millions like them. I break the safe or I break your neck. Oh, you will, will you? Hey, boys, boys, quiet, quiet. What's the matter? What's all this trouble about? I'm the man for this job, Governor. He could not open a tin of spaghetti. I don't eat spaghetti. Oh, no, no, no. I'll settle this. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's see who put back the dough. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Out you go. Who won? Me. Congratulations. Oh, my astro. Uh, uh, here, Benjamin. Page 29. Here it is. Everything all right, Johnson? Okay, Gov. Go ahead. Hello? Hey, you two this old fatty. What do you think you're doing? Looking through the letterbox, like you said. Yeah. What's the idea of standing out there looking in? You told me to look for something suspicious. Yeah. Shh. Is there anyone in there? No. Look through the letterbox, you fool. You see anything? Yes. Policeman's belt. Yep. Yeah. It's a policeman, boys. Hey, hey, where are you going? Shh. I can have a look. Who is it? Come down, let him in. Number, please. Number, please. What number is your one? Hello. Hello. Lamhouse Police Station, quick. Quick. Who's keeping watch? He is. A fat lot of good he's doing. You better walk up and down outside. Well, can't somebody else do that? I they're all too busy. Go on, hurry up. Here, and take P.C. Shorthouse with him. He doesn't look like a policeman. Can't you send him a box or something? Nice evening. <laughs> oh, look, keep your eyes skinned. You look that way and I'll look this. Ah, 
much nicer out here, isn't it? Beg pardon, sir? I say, it's much nicer. Oh, I thought you were Jerry. Funny how you all look alike in those uniforms. Uh, do we, sir? Yes. You know, you look very well in that one. It suits you. Thank you, sir. You know, it, it might be an idea when you leave us to go straight. Go straight, sir? Yes. Oh, well, if the idea doesn't appeal to you, it's all right. <clears throat> Boys are making a neat job, aren't they? Job? Yes. Oh, you mean the bank, sir? Yes. Yes, we're fine when it's finished. Oh, that won't be long now. Uh, they'll soon have it open. Open? But it's been open six months, sir. Oh? You're new to this district, aren't you, sir? Yes. Why, have you been here before? I've been on this beat for five years, sir. Five years? Oh. What division are you from, sir? Uh, division? Uh, oh, uh, third division. Third division? Uh, yes, we were relegated last season. My team, uh, my platoon's at Limehouse. I know lots of Limehouse men, sir. Funny I haven't seen you before. Oh, well, in your business you meet a lot of people, don't you? I shouldn't forget you, sir. You're the first officer I've ever met wearing glasses. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, yes. Well, as a matter of fact, I just found those. I was, um, I was trying them on to see if they'd uh, go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> uh, well, would uh, you want to be getting back on your beat, uh, should you? This is my beat, sir. Right round the block. Uh, oh, of course, yes. Yes, well, uh, wouldn't you like to go and beat a little bit round the back? Yes, yeah. yes, I suppose you're right, sir. Good night, sir. Uh, good night. <coughs> good night. Good night, sir. Tell you something, boy. You know that man you were speaking to? Yes. He was a policeman. <laughs> Get out of it. That's a check five thousand. And the covering letter. Uh, five thousand pound back. It breaks my heart. Let's see your identification card. Well, what's the idea? Keep your eyes open. There's some crooks loose in police uniform. Uniforms? Where'd they get them from? Limehouse Division. Limehouse? Here, quick, check them on the right. Go on, hurry. Hurry. Quick. Bark. my pair. How much is it? Nine pound ninety and threepence. Well, charge it to the home office. What? Find the others, see what they did with Slessor, <coughs> and tell them not a word about last night. Oh. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, morning, miss. Hello, sir. Don't you sit on me, sir. I've got one or two questions to ask you. In the first place, what do you mean by going away and leaving this prison without supervision? Well, I thought it'd be all right. I mean, uh, I shut the gate. What? Well, besides, I've instituted the honour system here. Honour system with criminals? Ah. Well, why not? You've heard the saying, honour among thieves and all that? It's a pity you don't practice it and want honour in your own personal affairs. Look at these cheques. Nine hundred pounds, R.D. Is this your honour system? Issuing cheques with no balance at the bank to meet them? Ah, that's where you're wrong. Get my bank manager, will you please? <clears throat> oh, he's been trying to get me. Oh, good. Well, put him through. I really don't know what to say to you, Mr. Benjamin. After verification, we 
find that you have actually a, a substantial balance to your credit. I can't understand how the mistake arose. Oh, that's all right. Don't apologize. No, accidents like that will happen. Uh, good morning. Well, I hope you're satisfied now. I tell you, I tell you, slip your scrap. I tell you, slip your scrap. Hold on, watch. Beg pardon, Sir Cyril, but it's a good thing you're here. I've been locked up all night. By whom? By him. So that he could allow ten convicts to escape. This is the last straw. Not satisfied with turning the prison into a funfair, you've connived at the escape of a bunch of dangerous criminals. Well, they promised me they'd come back. You're a minister of public safety. I'll have you put where you can do no further damage. Ward to arrest this man. <laughs> Back down, I, uh, I don't know what to say to you. But this is, uh, this is a very proud day for me. I think we've made a great step forward in prison reform. As a matter of fact, I believe that this moment will go down in prison history. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hey, are you all right? Hey, are you all right? Oh, that is a nice thing. Jerry, show these gentlemen the way to the bathroom. Here, come out of this. Uh, this way to the bathroom. Oh. Come along. This way to the bathroom. 